Turn the tensions to tomorrow. Um, obviously, everyone knows what this game sort of means to, to everyone connected yeah. with the club. Um, have you sort of used the history of the fixture to motivate the players? Don't have to. And why would I use the history? Because we've got a really poor record against them. You know, we've beaten twice mm. in 11. So, that, so that, that's the history of this football club. As, as we stand as AFC Wimbledon, we've beaten twice in 11. So if we lose tomorrow again, they'll probably be get thrown at us, although we've got some great red record against MK. We haven't got a really bad record against MK. Beaten them twice in 11, um, once in the league. Yeah, the other was Papa John's. Mm. So we've got a really, really poor record and we need to rectify that. As an academy, we've probably played them 300 times and lost four games. So I need to get that sort of record back in this club and that's what we're determined to do. Um, with the hectic schedule that we've got coming up, have you felt like we've had to adapt a lot in terms of our preparation? You know, not much time between games, you know, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday coming up. Yeah, but again, Chris, I'm probably my own worst enemy because I don't go on about this stuff. You know, no, 18 days without yeah. a game's not easy, especially when you don't know you've got anger. But I don't want to talk about it. It is what it is. We get on with it. Mm. So, you know, we get on with it. Of course it's difficult. All I want to do is create something special at this football club, drive us forward and, you know, win, lose or draw, as long as these players give everything to like to think that people are behind us. And as I said, the argument would be Saturday, they didn't give everything. I'll have to disagree with that because I know how much they hurt and I see them after that and they do give everything. Do they make the right decisions all the time? No, they don't. Do they get things wrong? Of course they do. Um, with regards to how the squad's shaping up for tomorrow, any, any fitness issues? Um, no, we're all good. Um, yeah, we're all good and, you know, we're trying to, as I said, we, we, we again, I'm not, I'm not, we haven't got the money to bring in big signings or anything like that, but we, we, we're trying to bring in some signings um, to, to bolster the squad so that we're strong and fit no, and and we can really push up the table. Um, but no, there's, there's no fitness issues, but um, and, and we're looking good and we're really looking forward to tomorrow. Um, what's just your overall message going into tomorrow and the big sort of run of games that we've got coming up, a lot of home games and stuff like that? You've got a message you just want to leave the fans with? How many times have I got to tell them how much I, I love them? If they don't think I'm capable of doing the job, mm -hmm. then trust me, no one will have to tell me. Uh, I'll, I'll go and have my notes in because I love the club too much. Yeah. But I know I'm capable of doing it. Um, but we are where we are as a football club. You know, the club stated where the budget is. You know, we win two games, everyone will be happy again. But then when you lose a game, what are you going to tell them they don't care again? It's just about, you know, what are you trying to achieve as a fan? You know, and people might have a game where you weren't a Wimbledon fan, but I was a football fan. So I've been there, done it, travelled the miles, spent thousands of pounds, and I can honestly say, and I've watched some right, I can't swear on camera, some right old rubbish, yeah. but the biggest song that I ever sung at was We Support You Evermore because it was tribal and you wanted to show the opposition, even though you'd lost, that we were better than you and we're behind the boys. Yeah, if there, there's, I can remember the old player who you thought, well, he's not putting in a shift and he might get a bit of stick. Mm. But that was it, but it was a different generation. Maybe, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm delusional, maybe I can't get that attachment between the players and the fans. Maybe no matter what I do, um, that, that won't come back. Maybe that's dead now with social media and everything. Maybe those, those days are gone. But I, I have to believe those days aren't gone and I'll keep doing what I can to build an attachment. You've just had a conversation with me. You've never known a squad like it. It's so friendly. And I'll keep doing it until we have the success and, and we turn it round. You know? And as I said, if the day comes where I don't think I can do it, I'll be the first, because I love the club too much, I'll walk in and say I can't. But the fact that we're having this conversation is, is, is crazy, mm -hmm. you know. Um, we'd always, that people will look at the league table and go, well, that's where success is. Yeah. But right here, right now, you know, we win one game, we move up to whatever it is, 14th, and we've still got two, three games in hand. Mm -hmm. And I honestly believe this club is in a better position as they have, than they've ever been. I was in a meeting the other day and I've got people asking me who, who do we think we might lose in January and panicking, who we might lose in, in the summer and people panicking. Mm. We haven't sold a player as AFC women ever. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm. Never. We've never sold a player. The only players we've ever sold are academy players yeah. that we've brought through and then they've played a few games and they've got sold for a few bob. Yeah. We're now talking, we've got you know possibly six, seven players that we're thinking oh, we might get bids for. Mm -hmm. This has all happened in a year. And we've got a youngest squad in the country, and I don't want people to blow smoke up their backside, it's not what it's about. But we are growing as a football club, as far as I can see. Yeah. Yeah? Do I wish we was further up the league table? Of course I do. Mm. And, and, and I'm determined that we will be. You know? And I just, it's just I'm a positive person, and 
and I think there's only one way to be. As I said, if, if you see people walking, not giving a shift, then they deserve what they get. I don't think you see that.